a non-controlling interest also called NCI or minority interest is an ownership position where a corporate shareholder owns less than 50% of outstanding shares and can only influence management decisions instead of controlling them the control rests with the owners that have more than 50% of outstanding shares applying this concept to corporate owners a non-controlling interest is the ownership interest in a subsidiary company which is owned by outside investors and not the parent company generally a minority interest in a subsidiary company is less than 50 percent of the total number of shares outstanding the parent company reports the financial results of the subsidiary company in its consolidated balance sheet to present a claim on assets by minority shareholders or in its consolidated income statement as a percentage of profits belonging to minority shareholders minority interest shareholders have less influence on a firm's management and policies and restricted voting rights but they offer significant growth for the firm with their experience and capital let's look at an example company a acquires 85 percent of the 50,000 shares outstanding of company b leaving a non-controlling interest of 15 percent at the end of the fiscal year company apparent reports revenues of eight hundred twelve thousand dollars and expenses of three hundred fifty four thousand dollars whereas company b subsidiary reports revenues of two hundred fifty thousand dollars and expenses of one hundred eighty eight thousand dollars Furthermore, the excess fair value amortization of company B following its acquisition is $32,000. Now if we want to calculate the controlling interest of company A on the net income of company B, the non-controlling interest of company B, the consolidated net income and the net income of the company A, we will calculate the net income of company B subsidiary first it will be revenues less expenses less excess fair value amortization that is equal to two hundred fifty thousand dollars less one hundred eighty eight thousand dollars less thirty two thousand dollars equaling thirty thousand dollars based on the acquisition percentages the controlling interest of company A on company B is 85 percent of thirty thousand dollars that is twenty five thousand five hundred dollars and the non-controlling interest is fifteen percent of thirty thousand dollars that is four thousand five hundred dollars the calculation of the consolidated net income is as follows revenues less expenses plus subsidiary net income that is eight hundred twelve thousand dollars less three hundred fifty four thousand dollars plus thirty thousand dollars making it four hundred eighty eight thousand dollars therefore the net income to controlling interest is consolidated income minus non-controlling interest that is four hundred eighty eight thousand dollars less four thousand five hundred dollars giving us dollar four hundred eighty three thousand five hundred dollars and parents net income less controlling interest will be four hundred fifty eight thousand dollars plus twenty five thousand five hundred dollars making it four hundred eighty three thousand five hundred dollars there are several different rules for consolidating subsidiaries based on ownership percentage and influence remember that ownership and influence are not always hand in hand a minority shareholder might still have considerable influence in corporate decisions Take Bill Gates for instance, before his retirement from Microsoft, he owned 8% of the company but had significant influence over the decision making.